Oh wait, you're saying this then. Oh, am I? Okay. What's up, nature friends? We're going on another adventure today. We're rolling up at Houston Woods State Park, but don't worry, fossil collecting is allowed. It's on the maps. They have fossil collecting sites. Don't worry. Ah. Oh. <laughs> we're in the car. Oh wait, I guess you can already tell that. Yeah. We're driving can. in the woods. We are. So, you want to talk about your plans? Yeah, so basically, as I mentioned uh, in the war room, I will be climbing up lots of uh, walls, and it's a lot shorter today than, uh, than the last adventure, but it did just rain. So this is good news for fossils and bad news for climbing. So we'll have to be careful today to try not to fall and die. All right, Hunter, we're back. Right, so I'm going to be going around. Houston Woods is surrounding Acton Lake. I will be going all the way around Acton Lake looking for birds uh, just to try and get like more you know species than I did last time because I was very mad at myself. Gotta get 13 at least. <laughs> <laughs> like I just saw a bird over there. We are crazy. Oh you, we just saw a bird driving over. Yeah we saw I saw a sharp shin hawk on, the, on our way over here. So we're at one. Yep. Yeah. Alright well I'll hopefully find some, some uh, bald eagle would be cool because uh, I know they're here um, snow goose all, all, all sorts of like just like cool things that aren't exactly rare but cool cool leaving the car now how is bro wearing shorts and short sleeves because it's nice out how's bro not cold it's, it's freeze in December I'm gonna take advantage it's not 60 yet yes it is it's windy. We're, we're in the woods. <laughs> There's no wind in the woods. Like, it's the same size as goldfish. Okay, I'm doing a cinematic video. <laughs> Welcome to the area of collection and birding. <laughs> wow. We got some uh, bird tracks going. I think they're uh, probably like great blue heron. I think they're the uh, Velociraptor. No, no, by dinosaur no, tracks. no, you're wrong. But there's a crinoid in the in the track. Oh, nice. Oh, it's just in dirt. Hold on, believe me. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Mike. There's a crinoid. Yeah, a little little Cheerio thing. Birdman is identifying. He found a song sparrow. He's identifying. Go ahead. And, and jump? Yeah. Okay, let's hope I need to get a video if you fall. Wow. All right. Well, this is this is where I, I turn around. Because oh, yeah. I don't see any birds up there. I hear people, but I don't know where they are. I know. I hear them, too. Whatever. We'll find them. All right. All right. Well, I'm going up there. I'm going over there. All right. Well, we'll be... Uh... We'll be in close proximity. I'm really excited to see how far away these things can go. <laughs> Not very far. Uh, our walkie-talkies um, cost about fifteen dollars from Walmart. So yeah, nice high-end fifteen-dollar Walmart talkies. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how uh, how good they are. I need to get this on my clip before. Uh, accidentally drop it in the water that would be devastating my $15 would go to waste this thing is slippery I'm gonna fall <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right cool bird this is one of my favorites actually right there oh you can just see just took a massive massive dump uh, that's a belted kingfisher you can hear him clicking he's got like a yeah he sounds like a like a ra like a ratchet wrench almost or you can hear him. Cool bird. As uh, as the name suggests, he is a excellent fisherman. So I'm feeling a little stupid right now. I just saw a great blue heron, which isn't anything crazy or rare, but it is cool and it's a big bird. Uh, it was standing about right there. So I was walking up, and all of a sudden it was there, and I was like, oh, oh, ooh, 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 gotta get this out. And in that I like dropped a couple things. Oh, there he is. That's the great blue heron. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try to get a better look at them later. But um, yeah, don't don't drop stuff when you're trying to look at birds because that usually scares them. 
All right, nature friends. Next stop is the dam, or at least the top of it. We are at the bottom of it. Um, I'm hoping to get, I know it's usually a very good view of the lake. I'm hoping I can like see some clumps of birds somewhere. I'm not gonna be able to like really tell what they are from this far away. Uh, well, maybe they'll be close, I don't know. Hopefully they will be close. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, once again, snow goose. That's, that's the objective that I wanna find today. That's why I'm going all the way around the lake. There's plenty of viewpoints that I can see from that. Yeah. Let's get the burden. Climbing is difficult when it's wet. So we're looking at this beautiful spill. If you look a little closer here, you'll see like, look, here's some coral and stuff in this rock. Here's a whole brachiopod right here. Um, here's some brachiopod right here. There's some pieces of isotelis. These little pieces around here. Here's some coral. Sorry, my fingers in the way. This is bryzoan and coral. Um, lots of, here, here's a piece of isotelis. Here's a rock that's just got brachiopods all up in it. Another one here. This one's actually got a little gastropod right there. Um, so as you're walking around, you know, lots of good, good stuff. So, actually this is a full one. This might be a keeper right here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best around here. These are the best kind of places to look uh, when you got lots of spills of things. Um, and then up here, the shale activity is where we're gonna be spending a lot of time. And we're gonna just work our way that way and uh, try not to fall. Uh, so I just put my bag down and we already have a good... F um, so this right here is part of a, a hypostome of Isotelus Maximus. And I found half of a big hypostome in the last video. Um, oh my God, will you please focus? Anyway, again, this is like a crushing mouth plate, the equivalent of a bottom jaw of an Isotelus Maximus. So put up a little graph maybe of what it's like supposed to look like. It's mostly all there, but, you know, fun find. First notable find of the day. So I mentioned in the last video, you tend to do pretty good in these pockets here. Uh, so here I am again, down in a pocket. Um, we're finding lots of little fragments of isotelis, which is good because I want to find one today. Uh, it's on the menu, if you ask me. Um, lots of unique little brachiopods down here, like I just found a brachiopod. Um, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, you go in these little shelves with the shale kind of eroding out. Um, and you do really well. More often than not. I'm laying on just tons of fossils right now. Uh, here's a, here's a cool one. Cool brachiopod. Um, but I'm seeing lots of flakes of isotelis. Uh, lots of what you want to see. Lots of child bite bits. Uh, so hopefully we find a full one today. You know... That's what you hope for on these days. Uh, but here's, let me show you what I'm looking at here. So I'm laying right here and we're going in under these. And these kind of shelves that appear, like there's another one right here. Um, this is where you wanna go cause stuff kind of just catches. Um, and then a lot of stuff erodes out from up here too. So these big shale sections are really where you wanna, uh, where you wanna spend most of your days. What? Here, there's Hunter. Oh Lord. Samsung quality did you dirty, Hunter. You can't even see you on my video, basically. Awesome. <laughs> Any birds? Uh, is that chill or not chill? They're funky little guys. Dope. I've got lots of isotelus material. I've got uh, a couple hypostomes on the day. So this is this is what I was talking about. The wind's not too loud. I have an amazing view of the lake. It's very pretty, but also like 
I can see if there's like little clumps of ducks in certain areas and I can, I'll know like, okay, go to that one, maybe prioritize that over this other spot to go and look. But yeah, Quinn's over there on that wall. All right, this is kind of gross, but like, there's an owl pellet. I imagine this is either from a great horned owl or a barred owl. by the size. It's got to be one of those two. So I found a little like clump of bird. I, th I think they're coots. I'm not sure yet. We'll we'll see when we get over there. Over by the beach, which is right behind that wall. Alright, well, bald eagles, that's a herring gull, bald eagle, look at him, that's a horrible view of him, that's cool. Well, we got one of the birds we came here for, I was kind of, it was kind of, I don't want to say it was like a given that I was going to find the bald eagle, but like. I was pretty confident. It's, he's always just chilling. Anyway, so this is not the beach. Uh, this is in between the beach. The beach is actually right there. But uh, we're almost there. I'm just stopping here because it's in between where I was and the beach. Ooh! And... I don't know if you can see him yet. It's some sort of woodpecker over there, but that's not what I'm focused on right now oh are these fake these are all fake <laughs> I, think, I think these are all fake oh these are so fake god dang it yeah yeah that's a fake 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 birds All right, so those are uh, hunting decoys. And then right after I stopped recording, some people in the woods yelled at me like, hey, get off the pier. <laughs> so, um, yeah, nice. All right, head into the beach now. So what we have here is a spill of an iced tea list. So you can see this, this mug blew up. So, you know, if we were here a few days earlier, we might have uh, been able to collect it. Um, but there's still cool things around. Like here's a little crinoid rock. That's pretty cool. Um, and some wisdom here. What I'm doing right now is I'm going up this gully. Uh, when you're collecting it, obviously make sure you don't get yourself in dangerous situations. But if you climb up the gullies, you can see where things are spilling out of. So you get everything and you're going up it and you're looking at new things. Rather than if you're climbing down, you're stepping on things and potentially covering stuff. So that's a little pro tip for you. But, uh, you know, do whatever you want. You don't have to listen to me. What do I know? I'm just some bum who's uh, climbing on hills, banging on rocks. But, uh, you know, happy hunting. Well, my friends, we've officially stopped fossil hunting. And we are now fossil finding. This is lovely. This is a lovely piece of endoceris right here. Nice, big, fat, well-defined. Give it a little wash. It'll look good. We're going to toss that in the bag. So this is kind of a fun slab. We got a flexicolumni head here. We got some gastropods going on. We got some brachiopods. We got some piece of isotelus. Um, we've also got another flexicolumni head. Oh, come on now, focus here. We got a butt and a backwards head. We got an isotelus piece. We got this really strange hypostome going on. It might not be a hypostome. I might just be calling everything a hypostome, but I swear to God, it looks like one. But then this side's extremely long, and this side's not, which is really weird to me. But you know. Regardless, slabs of isotelus and flexicolumni are around, so 
It's just time to find a full one, how about? All right, I haven't even gotten out of the car yet, but look at all these gulls. I, I hate seagulls, actually, with a passion. Also, yeah, my, my window's really dirty. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try and identify them. I imagine there's not all just herring gulls there, so let's, let's see what, see what we got. Ooh, crows, wow. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I've uh, stared at the seagulls for long enough to go insane. Um, mostly, it was just herring gulls, and there were a couple ringbill gulls in there too. Um, the only difference between the herring and the ringbill is that the ringbill has a ring on its bill. Other than that, they're the same exact seagull. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get yelled at for that. They're not the same seagull. But anyway, over here is where uh, a red crossbill was reported about like three weeks ago. I came about, um, you know, a couple days after it was reported, and I found nothing. So, I'm going to look again. I doubt it's still here. If it wasn't here when I came, I doubt it's still here. But you never know with birds. So, let's see if I get lucky. I was not lucky. Here we go, everybody. This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the first full trial of bite on camera of the channel. Uh, anyway, well, I don't know if it's full yet, but I'm going to show you where it is. Here's what I'm looking at, right? This is the, this is the matrix. What I just caught, going close here, does anyone think they see it? You guessed right here, you guessed right. Oh, lovely. This guy's whole face right there, we just got to give him a little wash. A little flex of Kalimini Miki. Come on, focus. Come on now, Buster Brown. This is a pretty little guy. All right. We are not fossil hunting, guys. We are fossil finding. So I just found something very unique. This head. See those little dots on it? Those aren't, uh, those aren't supposed to be there. This might be a different species of trilobite actually i'm almost certain this is a different species of trilobite the flexicolimini or isotelus maximus which is really crazy right here or he just had warts because he touched a toad i'm just kidding that doesn't happen regardless i'm very happy about this little piece i just pulled very nice i'm gonna go take it to my friends at the limper museum of geology and they're gonna tell me wow you found a really cool trilobite can we keep it and I'm gonna say no it's mine but I'll be nicer so I'm gonna keep uh keep hanging out right here I'm telling you guys these little shells you do great in them because everything gets caught right here it erodes right out from the bottom it doesn't go anywhere little shells man magical all right so we're gonna do a little bit of uh, cheating here so this is like an animal kind of rehab here. They're not just keeping them here because they want to. But uh, yeah, here's a broad wing hawk. I didn't just read the sign, I know what it is. Yeah. So what happened with most of these guys, look at this American kestrel, it's very pretty. One of my favorite little raptors. He's a little guy too. Uh, what happened with these guys is they're in rehab and what differentiates them from you know, your crazy uncle, is uh, they got injured. Like maybe they broke a wing or something. I know there's a one over here with a broken wing. And, the, and either way, they can't be released back into the wild yet. It's not safe for them. So yeah, here. A couple barred owls. Just chilling. Those, uh, those are suspect one for the owl pellet. But uh, I like this guy. Probably the one who did it. This is a great horn owl. I can't get to focus. See him back there, all menacing. Whatever. Anyway. Very classic owl call. And now you might have noticed that I didn't show a picture of the bald eagle earlier because, number one, if you don't know what a bald eagle looks like, uh, what are you doing? And also. 
Because they're right there. Of course, it's not going to focus, though. There. Yeah, look at him. He's a big guy. Very pretty birds. Common misconception, they don't scream. They just, like, they make, like, a little regular bird noise, and it's kind of funny. Anyway. Um, so it's starting to rain again. Second, uh, second adventure in a row. Uh, if nature makes this a bit, uh, where it starts raining, when I'm walking on clay, it gets slippery when it's wet. This is going to be a very, very short series. This might be my sign to get down. I mean, I still got a lot I could cover, but you can't really see, but it's a very steep drop. And it's raining. I can hear it. I can feel it. I don't know if you can see it on my hat yet. Um, but yeah, what am I doing with my life? This is scary. The wind has picked up. It's gotten significantly darker in the last minute and a half here. Uh, rain on clay again. Just not ideal. <sighs> this has got to stop happening. And I'm still going away from my backpack, away from the way down. That's how you know I'm addicted. Addiction is bad, kids. Some addictions like drugs will kill you over time. And uh, addictions like fossil hunting kill you when you fall off a big wall because you want to find a trilobite. So life lessons. I'm at the next location. I've been here for a minute. I ate some breakfast. And uh, there's nothing here. Not too much. South Carolina chickadees, a couple starlings fly by every once in a while. Um, those are European starlings again, I showed you in the last video. Uh, I was hoping to find a heron here, but no luck. Whatever, it's pretty. But um, I wanna, I wanna show you guys something real quick. I want you to watch my trash. All right, look. Hold on, forgot there was a zipper on this pocket. See how I, see how I put it in my pocket? And I'll throw it away later. You don't, um, you know, you know, you know, you, you put it in your pocket. Not, uh, not on, um, you know. Why do people do this? Bro, the park, my car is literally right there. Like. What are you doing? Is it raining over there? Yeah, it's raining. Same. Oh my. I'm scared as hell right now. You want me to come get you? Yeah, I just have to get down this wall. <laughs> Alright. I've gotten more birds than I got last time, so I'm, you know, and I've gotten plenty of footage, so I I'm happy. Yeah, I should tap out now, too. Alright, I'm on my way. Yeah, hopefully I, uh, I'm alive by the time you get here. Oh, guys. Oh, shit. She might and call it. You said 10 minutes? This is always the fun part. This could, this could be the end of the series. Oh no, the concrete I have to walk down is also... I don't know if you can see the water flowing on it, but... Uh, oh lord. I'm gonna be wet as hell. Alright, I'm heading back to pick up Quinn. Because I just radioed him and I was like, Hey, it's raining for me. Is it raining for you? And he said yes. And I asked him if it's bad enough where I need to come get him. And he said yes. So... I'm gonna go pick him up, cause uh, you know I care about Quinn. I don't want him to die. It'd make for a great, great clickbait, uh, you know, clickbait uh, title. But can't, can't. That'd be a very short series if he died. And oh my God, it's raining. 
pretty thing to see before I slip and fall. And I'm at the parking there. spot. Alright, don't worry, I'm almost there. <laughs> Good. Yeah, trekking's just a little difficult. <laughs> oh my. I better get down. Of course. That's my freaking bag open. <laughs> what the hell, man? Anyway. Come back or are you good? Uh, just, uh, you know, it's a little slippery. It's a little hard to get up. Are you off the wall yet? Of course I'm off the wall. Okay, would it make you feel better if I told you I was almost off the wall? Maybe. I'm almost off the wall. All I have to do is just jump off 10 feet onto concrete and then uh, go on my merry way. Okay, the trek is for real starting. I left my freaking backpack open. Can you believe that? Hey, Jimmy Mozart. Okay, in front of me we have a a bird, and this bird is called Squacoloptus, and it uh, flies in the water. Well, it flies and then lands in the water, and then it uh, eats the fishes. Look at him. I'm gonna try to speak to him. I think he might speak Spanish. Leaving. Where's this guy? Where's this Hunter Moser? There's this Hunter Moser. It's a good thing I looked at the map. All right. That wasn't the same time. It doesn't matter. Let's try it one more time. All right. Some time has passed. We've we went to Walmart. Uh, Gordon. <laughs> we found Gordon. Uh, Gordon, my foot. All right, sorry. I love Gordon. I know. Well, I didn't die clearly. Neither. Uh, yeah. And I actually found a uh, heron, which makes me a better bird man than the bird man, because he said he was looking for one. And I, found... I found one. I got a video of it flying away from me. Mine was walking by me, toward me, even. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So I found around, I think, like 15 or 16 species. But I'm going to award myself two bonus birds because um, I feel like it. And also, because I wasn't reporting every single bird that I found. Because uh, uh -huh. there was sometimes where I'm like, oh, uh, that's not what I'm looking for. And I just, like, put it in the back of my mind and Shit. didn't put it on eBird. So, Shit. I'm going to give myself two bonus birds for today. Uh, I found lots of trilobite material. I actually think I came home with, like, ended up with, like, four hypostones. Um, new trilobite dropped. Uh... I found a rolled up flexi, lots of pieces and stuff. Uh, so it was a good trial by day. Some big uh, cephalopod chunkaluncuses, chunkaluncuses. Uh, I found some weird crinoid thing. I didn't uh, take a video of it, but it was, it was chill. Yeah. My yeah. pick has seen better days though. That's unfortunate. Well, this was our last video till either I drive to you or you drive to me. This is very valid, yeah. We're about to go on winter break. <laughs> well, I'll be I'll be recording a video of how to bird, which will be fun, just in my backyard. Uh, uh, I don't know what your plan is. I think I'm going to go to this random road cut in Illinois. The only bummer is that I have to drive an hour and a half, and then it's colder in um, Illinois. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to suck. But I'm going to do it for you guys. Uh, it's actually a possibility of finding... Pennsylvanian aged 
fish teeth, which is like 300 million years old. Uh, which would be sick, I think. Would be. Yeah, I think so. I'm trying right. to fix my hammer. Well, my hammer. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh, I'll pay Am I worthy? Line. No, you know you found a trial bite. This is just opt. <laughs> I need to glue right. it. Well, it's got a boo boo. We'll see you later, nature friends. See you, nature friends.